Our third inductee is Miguel Cotto, 41 and 6 as a pro. He fought 12 times in Nevada, Puerto Rico's first four division world champion. He won championships from 140 to 160 pounds. A tremendous resume, of course, that he has. He fought everyone. The true boxer puncher, Miguel Cotto, defeated along the way Shane Mosley, Sergio Martinez, Antonio Margarito, Ricardo Mayorga, Demarcus Corley, Holly Malhanaji, and Ricardo Torres. And his losses came at the highest level to people like Floyd Mayweather and uh, Manny Pacquiao and uh, Canelo. So we are congratulating today. I have, I have him on the phone. You have? Miguel. Okay, well, we get a chance to hear from Miguel Cotto. One moment, please. He just said, hold on. Okay, does he want to do it in Spanish? Keep talking or? about him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. You talk so much about the other one. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're really we're really excited about this. We actually we were he was our last person that we were able to do, that we were able to notify. So this was kind of a, a last minute. He does not. No. Okay. Well, let's we'll see. Let's we'll see if he likes the honor or not. Who? <laughs> he was doing his. Yeah. Listo. Does he want to do? Okay. You want to do it in Spanish or in? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Here you go. Do you want to tell him? Miguel, this is Rich Murata, the president of the National, the founder, excuse me, of the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. How are you today? Miguel, it is our great honor, and we've got a room full of press here today, here in Las Vegas, to inform you, we're doing this live here, that you have been voted in and selected for induction into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. So congratulations to you. These people here, a big media turnout, are uh, hearing for the first time that you have been inducted, or you are going to be inducted into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you for the recognition. It's, it's a pleasure for me just to be a member of the Hall of Fame of the Las Vegas United Commission Hall of Fame. This is, uh, I feel so proud of that. Can you tell us what it was meant to you? You fought so many times here in Las Vegas, and you fought in so many big fights here in Las Vegas. What it meant to you to fight in Nevada, and uh, you know, with those big, big fights here in the fight capital of the world. Puede contestar en español. Dice que qué significa uh, haber peleado aquí en Nevada, tantas peleas que tuviste aquí en la capital del boxeo. He says that it's cutting off. Okay. okay. All right, we'll let him go. But our congratulations, Miguel. We'll be in contact with you. So that's a first. That's the first time we've ever had the Nevada Bucks. Okay. 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 So it was for one of our inductees that he was being inducted into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. Our next, uh, our next inductee is Mark Two Sharp Johnson. Mm. A record of 44 and 5 in his career. He fought four times in Nevada. He won the IBF world titles at 112 and 115 pounds, and also a WBO title at 115. Uh, Mark Tushar Johnson was the first African American to ever win the World Flyweight Championship. Had an outstanding list of, uh, of opponents and victories. He defeated uh, Mon Fernando Montiel and Alejandro Montiel, as well as his one round. KO, and I was very happy because I called this fight, which was down in Anaheim when he won the world championship uh, with his winning effort against Francisco Tejedor. So he has been inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame back in 2012, and Mark Two Sharp Johnson is the newest inductee that we announce here today. Miguel wanted to answer you. No. Oh, <laughs> we'll go back to Miguel. That was. <laughs> All right, we go back to Miguel. Miguel, thank you. Uh, we were just going to ask you about your feelings about what it meant to you to fight in Las Vegas in those big marquee fights. This is not a fair play, the big, biggest, biggest scenario in boxing. It's been a test. And uh, it was great. Really, really good for me. Just right there. ¿Tienes algún mensaje en español para la prensa? Aquí tenemos un cuarto lleno de prensa. Bueno, gracias por, por que nos 
saber que luego de tantos años de, de sacrificio, pues eh, el, el, lo mismo ha sido reconocido y pues eh, que estamos en el lado de la mamá con mucho orgullo. Okay, thank you very much, Miguel. Again, our congratulations. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy Rodriguez, by the way, representing WBC here today. I want to acknowledge her as well. We appreciate the, her presence here today.